सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जीवननाथ माय पीसी जर्नी सो गाइस दिस इज वेरी डिफरेंट वीडियो इन माय चैनल सो द वीडियो इज ऑन हाउ टू इंप्रूव योर इंग्लिश हाउ टू टॉक इन इंग्लिश हाउ टू थिंक इन इंग्लिश हाउ टू राइट इन इंग्लिश ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू discuss five steps with you which will help you to enhance your knowledge to enhance your capability which will improve your english so if you follow these steps which i will mention to you then you you will definitely 100% you will improve your english just you have to follow precisely from your uh you have to follow the tips the steps deeply okay uh so guys uh this is english speaking is most of the indians most of the assamese people's problem also i am a assamese man okay i have facing some problem i have facing troubles while i am i am speaking is thing you uh, you can imagine and you can uh you can speak my english i am hesitant i am bubbling i am uh, i am not speaking well but even i am trying why why ask yourself so guys i am not also good at in english but even i am trying i am trying i am practice i am thinking in english i am writing daily in english whatever i want whatever uh, in my mind what whatever is going on my mind why i just put on my paper okay so uh, let's start the video uh, whatever i will give you the five steps just follow them and you will definitely 100% sure you will improve your english just like i am trying you just uh, trying also to improve my english this channel this youtube channel i make i make this youtube channel because i want to improve my english that's why and none other uh, none other thing okay so let's start so guys uh in this video i am going to tell you five steps to improve your english this five steps will help you to think in english to speak in english to write in english and whatever you are thinking you can express okay so let's start the first number step is listen english carefully just like you are doing meditation let's read it uh, let's read the line again in listen english carefully just like you are doing meditation so what do you understand from this line okay uh, so this line tell you that listen english carefully so whatever you are listening whatever you are uh, seeing youtube videos so uh, see some videos on youtube who are uh, indian youtubers the uh, indian youtubers see the indian youtubers uh, not just the uh, uh, foreigners okay see the indian youtubers uh, who speak in english see them currently see their uh, lectures series uh, follow follow their lecture series and listen their english properly just like you are doing meditation if you uh, daily doing daily hearing daily listen their videos they are listen their uh, whatever they are uh, whatever in the videos listen carefully just you have to listen 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 fast because if you listen then uh, new new words new new thoughts new new ideas comes in your mind and they will create a sense in your mind english word automatically automatically come in your mind when you listen english word automatically come and put it in your, put on your mind just you have to listen them carefully also the big the big picture whatever uh, genius uh, genius also you can uh, see the english english uh, news channels just like the genius also raj josopha raj josopha raj josopha debate competition the debate on uh, the debate uh, on several topics are met on the uh, youtube also 
or you can see any types of videos that are made in English just you have to see them and listen and uh, see their face how they speak English carefully their expression in a thinking you have to think their expression and you have uh, just like the um, if you listen them so new new words will, will definitely come uh, this is the first step you have to listen English uh, in YouTube in TV as well as in your uh, as well as as your less uh, you are doing every day just like you have to sense your way you have to listen English properly okay this is the first step if you listen uh, one more thing this is the natural way of learning English this is the less natural way of improve your English why let's give an example to you okay so first of all uh, can you imagine when a baby born he what he doing he slowly listen his language from his family from his mother father his elder brother his elder sister his grandfather his grandmother uncle auntie the baby observe them carefully whatever they see they are uh, talking whatever they act okay he just the bone the baby just observe them carefully listen them carefully just like that you have to you have to observe other people's how they speak english is, is, is speaking in english how you have to observe them you have to listen them carefully just like a baby doing okay baby just observe their parents baby just observe their sounding what was happening around him okay just like that you have to doing all the steps first of all listen english carefully just like you are doing meditation you have to observe okay the second step is now you have to start talking in english i mean speaking english okay let's read it again now you have to start talking in english don't don't be afraid okay don't be afraid first of all you have to listen then you have to slowly 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 speak in english if you uh, if you listen if you know some a new words in english then you have to use it you have to know how to use it you have to practically use it then it the words the words the vocabulary is gives you much okay so whatever you have you listen a new words you know a new words then you you have to use it you have to try to speak in english okay uh, uh when the when a baby born he uh, slowly slowly what he doing he observe his surroundings he listen his parents his father his mother okay then he slowly bubbling he have he bubbling he hesitated but even he try to speak just like that you have to try to speak in english because english just is a language don't be confused don't be uh, complicated your language don't be complicated with your process everybody makes english a complicated why because they think this is a foreign language we can't we can't handle it we can't speak we can't understand this is the uh hello let okay so you have to uh, uh, just like the first steps completed then you have to slowly slowly speak in english whatever whatever the result you uh, can't pro you you can't speak properly but you, it's okay just like me i am can i am not uh, fluent in english but even i am trying to speak in english why because i know one day i will definitely without without hesitate without bubbling i will definitely continuously speak in english for 10 minute for 15 minute for uh, 20 minute for even just like the how you will uh, i will improve my time when i we, when i am speaking english just like that you have to doing i am not good at, i i have already said i am not good at english but even i am trying to speak in english why because i we i need and the what is the importance of uh, everybody said english is important english is important but why you have to know that because to this world and uh, you have to know that one more thing english is a global language okay and uh, just like the uh, electronic media 
द होल सिस्टम द होल वर्ल्ड होल मल्टी मीडिया सोशल मीडिया ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड इन इंग्लिश सो वी हैव टू नो इंग्लिश प्रोपरली राइट एंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ इंग्लिश इज ग्रोइंग डे बाय डे ओके दैट्स वाई यू हैव टू नो इंग्लिश ओके ऑल्सो द मेटेरियल द रिसोर्सेस इन इंग्लिश इज अवेलेबल बट इन आवर रिजनल लैंगुएज द रिसोर्सेस इज नॉट इन ए प्रोपर वे दैट्स वाई इंग्लिश इज ऑल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट सो नाउ यू हैव टू स्टार्ट टोकिन इन इंग्लिश विथ वॉट एवर द रिजल्ट बट यू हैव टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश ओके डोंट थिंक अबाउट द रिजल्ट जस्ट डे बाय डे इम्प्रूवमेंट विल इफ यू इफ यू स्टार्ट टू डे देन यू विल फील दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इंग्लिश यू कैन स्पीक इंग्लिश आफ्टर थ्री मंथ बट यू हैव टू फॉलो दिस स्टेप प्रोपरली ओके and then now third number point is the third number is step is now you have to read english books newspapers etc so let's give an example so if a baby born he slowly slowly observe his parents his elder brother his uh, uh, grandfather his uh, grandmother whatever whatever he is uh, whatever they are saying whatever they act okay then he try to speak um uh, just like the mama he call papa okay so mama ko ma ma nahi bol pata hai mama ko papa bolta hai papa ko mama bolta hai theek hai aisa bhi hota hai lekin phir bhi to bolta hai na jo bachcha hota hai wo pehle wo kya karta hai pehle wo apni parents ko sunna sunta hai apni parents ko observe karta hai achhi tarah se wo so wo log kaise bol raha hai wo log bolne ke baad kya react kar raha hai observe karne ke baad kya karta hai हम लोग हम लोग भी बच्चों को फिर क्या सिखाते हैं मुझे पापा बुलाओ मुझे पापा बुलाओ मुझे माँ बुलाओ माँ बुलाओ लेकिन वो उसको भी प्रोपर प्रोपर तरीके से नहीं बोल पाता है लेकिन फिर भी तो वो बोलता है ना जैसे लाइक यू हैव टू तुम्हें भी बोलना पड़ेगा यू हैव टू स्पीक राइट वो बोलने की बात वो क्या कट है वो अभी बच्चा क्या होगा अभी बच्चा ने थोड़ा थोड़ा पढ़ने लगा है बुक्स पढ़ने लगा है ठीक है स्टडी करने लगा है अभी वो बच्चा अपनी लैंग्वेज को पूरी तरह पूरी तरह से नहीं जानना है लेकिन अभी वो अपनी बुक्स को अपनी मॉडर्न लैंग्वेज में क्या करता है पढ़ने लगता है ठीक है अभी भी तुम्हें क्या करना पड़ेगा इंग्लिश जो बुक्स है न्यूज पेपर है एनी अदर मैगजीन्स एंड सेल्फ हेल्प बुक्स जस्ट लाइक दी एल्केमिस्ट रिज द टू डेड रीड दस रीड दिस बुक्स दे विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू राइट सो सेल्फ इम्प्रूवमेंट बुक्स यू कैन रीड इट सो अभी तुम हम लोगों को क्या करना होगा पढ़ना पड़ेगा सो वी हैव टू रीड English books, English newspapers, and these English books, those type of words and new new words, new new ideas will put in your mind, and they will create a line. Whenever you are you want to say, they make uh, the and and one more thing, one more thing. Uh, so whenever you try to speak in English, don't do a mistake. If you want to speak in English, just think in English and th- and speak in English. Don't think in uh, in your modern tongue. Then convert it into English. Don't do this. Don't do this. This will definitely, uh, definitely hesitate. Your definitely bubbling and hesitate whenever, and you can't fluently speak English. So don't convert your English in your uh, in your modern tongue, in your regional language. Okay. So I also face this problem. That's why I am sharing with you. If you want to, uh, if you want to. uh say something then think in english and properly make a uh, properly speak in english think in english and speak in english so uh, where uh, the words come from the words come from books the words come from newspapers the words come from videos lectures okay so uh abhi regional language mein kya hota hai अगर बुक्स की अगर हम बुक्स अगर हम किताब जैसे हम पुस्तक कहते हैं ना पुस्तक कहने से क्या है पुस्तक का एक इमेज आ जाता है सामने सभी आ जाता है राइट भगवान भगवान बोले तो भगवान का क्या होता है भगवान का चित्रण आ जाता है सभी आ जाता है उसके सामने हमारा माइंड में जस्ट लाइक द इंग्लिश में क्या होता है इंग्लिश में अगर उस वर्ड के साथ कुछ इमेज कुछ इवेंट कोई पर्सनैलिटी अगर जरूरी नहीं हो तो तुम्हें याद नहीं आएगी इसलिए उस वर्ड्स को तुम लोगों को क्या कर, क्या करना पड़ेगा समझना पड़ेगा उस वर्ड्स को अगर समझ लिया तो डेफिनेटली इट विल मेक इन योर माइंड 
इन टाइप ऑफ लाइन्स वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू से रोट दैट्स वाई तो अभी तुम लोगों को क्या पढ़ेगा इंग्लिश बुक्स न्यूज पेपर एनी अदर सेल्फ इम्प्रूवमेंट बुक्स यू कैन रीड एंड न्यू न्यू वर्ड विल कम इन योर माइंड एंड दे विल मेक यू वेरी 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 प्राउड ओके सो डेफिनेटली यू शुड डेफिनेटली यू शुड रीड सम बुक्स सम न्यूज पेपर ओके एंड यू हैव टू एनालाइज दैम प्रोपरली दिस इज द थर्ड स्टेप नाउ द मेन थिंग Now, if you have followed the above mentioned steps, then from now start thinking in English. Thinking in English. This is the main thing. Thinking in English. So, अभी तुम लोगों ने क्या किया? अभी तुम लोगों ने पहले observe किया, उसके बाद uh, speak करने की try किया, अभी uh, फिर तुम लोगों ने क्या किया? पढ़ने की ट्राई किया इन तीन तीन स्टेप्स को तुम लोगों को क्लियर कर दिया अभी तुम लोगों को क्या करना पड़ेगा थिंक इन इन इंग्लिश अभी तुम लोगों को थिंक करना पड़ेगा सोचना पड़ेगा इंग्लिश में इंग्लिश में सोचो जैसे कुछ भी हो सकता है देर वॉज ए पेन इन माई टेबल देर वॉज ए आई एम वॉचिंग वीडियोज ऑन यूट्यूब आई एम राइटिंग समथिंग आई रीड बुक्स आई हैव टू मोबाइल्स आई हैव थ्री मोबाइल्स Uh, today I will read uh, the Constitution of India. Today I will read Economy. Today I will read Ancient India. Today I will read Medieval India. Today I will read anything. And one more thing. Uh, before you writing, you have to think in English, right? So you have to write something every day. This is the writing is the five fifth number step. Okay. So think in English and think in English whenever. Uh, and don't convert your uh, lines okay if you want to uh, speak in english then uh, just think in english and speak in english don't think in original language and speak in english don't write it it will uh, took some time abhi kya ho jab tum log original language mein bolte ho hindi mein bolte ho ya assamese mein bolte ho ya nepali mein boro mein anything tab tum logo kya karte ho assamese mein sochte ho aur assamese mein bolte ho theek hai aur hindi mein sochte ho aur hindi mein hi bolte ho बोलते हो ठीक है सो so, इंग्लिश में क्या करते हो हिंदी में सोचते हो और आसमिस में सोचते हो लेकिन उस हिंदी को सोचने सोच के उसको इंग्लिश में कन्वर्ट कर देते हो ये ये प्रोसेस क्या टाइम ले, लेता है इसलिए क्या होता है हेजिटेड होता है आई हैव ऑल्सो फेस दिस प्रॉब्लम आई हैव सो आई एम एबल टू आई एम एबल टू शेयर ऑल दिस थिंग्स बिकॉज आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस आई हैव ऑल्सो गोइंग थ्रू द दिस ट्रेवल्स राइट so that's why i'm saying with you so uh, don't do this because uh, it uh, it will definitely not work so uh, so think in in english and speak in english this is the best way of learning english and improve your english okay so now the fifth number is that and now you have to write in english topics whatever in your mind just put on paper so abhi dosto tum logo ko kya karna padega abhi tum logo ko likhna padega english mein abhi likhne mein kya hoga tum likhne se pehle tum logo ko sochna padega maine upar jo fourth number point bataya na sochna padega think in english abhi think karne se abhi think kar liya abhi tum logo ne soch liya अभी उस सोच को जो तुमने सोचा है उसको क्या करना पड़ेगा पेपर में उसको लिखना पड़ेगा यू हैव टू पुट ऑन पेपर वट एवर यू आर थिंकिंग यू हैव टू पुट ऑन पेपर और तुम लोग एक काम कर सकते हो तुम लोगों ने होल डे क्या क्या किया तो तुम लोग डायरी लिख सकते हो तुम लोगों ने दिन भर क्या क्या किया जस्ट जस्ट थर्टी मिनट पर डे जस्ट थर्टी मिनट पर डे यू हैव टू पुट whatever you in your mind whatever you learn in your whole day you have to put on your paper this is the final and fifth step tum logo jitna likhoge jitna dheere dheere jitna likhoge likhne se pehle tum logo ko kya karna padega sochna padega sochne mein kya hoga tum logo ka new new words aayega aur tumne words to pehle hi sikha hai wo wo words kya hoga interlink ho jayega interlink ho gaya to kya hoga सेंटेंस क्रिएट हो जाएगा सेंटेंस तुम क्या करोगे पुट ऑन पेपर जस्ट ओके लिखना पड़ेगा जो सेंटेंस को तुमको क्या करना पड़ेगा लिखना पड़ेगा सो दिस इज द फाइनल एंड 
main thing you have to follow the five steps okay then you will definitely improve your english so lastly we have to whatever you are thinking whatever you are doing whatever uh, you whatever you have observed whatever you want to think whatever you, whatever you want to do in your future everything you can write in your uh, in your diary on a paper right so if you so guys uh, so finally i am finishing this video i hope you like this so if you follow this five steps so i will guarantee you that you will definitely improve your english you can imagining you can think in english and speak english i know and writing in english is just magical okay so guys if you like my videos so thank you for watching my videos and if you like my uh, thoughts my ideas regarding the improvement of improve your english improve my english also uh, i have already said that i am not at good in english but even i am trying so just like that you have to practice and practice and practice more because practice keeps man practice will give you the benefit really just like i am also doing bubbling i am also doing hesitate but event you can see me after three months i will definitely without hesitate without bubbling i will definitely speak english fluently okay so thank you guys